I'm relatively new to 5U modular systems, and as I started assembling my system, I hit a point where I wasn't bored with what I had, but I, I wanted to quickly expand the possibilities of what I had. So solely on reputation, I purchased a Surge triple wave shaper. In this video, I'm gonna show you the basic functions of the module, and then I'll show you how I use it and make up some patches with it. This is the Synthetic Sound Labs Model 1050 Surge Triple Wave Shaper. Each wave shaper has a single input with an attenuator and two control voltage inputs. Coming from mostly programming ARP synthesizers, I do really like the decision that SSL made to have uh, sliders with LEDs on them. I'm, I may be used to it, but it's just an intuitive way to quickly look at the synth and know exactly where your levels are. I will say that these attenuators do have an indentation at the 50% mark. It's firm enough to feel, but slight enough so that it doesn't really affect a sweep that you'd make through the entire range. To start, I'm going to focus on just one of the three identical wave shapers. So Surge designed this module to turn a sawtooth wave into a sine wave. And as this is an authorized module, the first thing I want to do is just to make sure that's true. Plug in a sawtooth wave. And now I'll patch the same sawtooth wave into the wave shaper. And we have our sine wave. Let me show you the range of the attenuator. The control voltage inputs on the triple wave shaper are interesting. Control voltage one affects a different part of the circuitry than control voltage two. Let me show you by plugging in an LFO. And now to two. I made this patch using the same saw wave, so you can hear the potential of using the two control voltages at the same time. An LFO is being patched into control voltage two. Using the gate output of the arpeggiator as clock. The modifier for control voltage one is a Bukala oscillator. And I'm running it through a signal processor just to get a little more gain out of it. Using the Bukala oscillator, it's gonna allow me to go from LFO all the way into audio range and let you hear what it does to the sound. crispy little top, almost like a ring mod. The Model 1050 offers you the option of patching in series or using a set of join switches. 
When used in series, each additional wave shaper adds a fold. Having two joint switches does really uh, make this unit much more flexible. Without any additional cables, you get one fold and a wave shaper to use. One last thing, I did discover something kind of unusual and interesting. When patching in series, as opposed to using the join switches, this happens. It sounds different. This is just one more feature that makes this just deceptively simple module so interesting. When you join Wave Shaper 1, 2, and 3, you not only increase folds, but you also have access to all of the control voltage inputs and the outputs. Let me just patch and see what we come up with. Take the uh, output of two. Yeah, nice and fuzzy. To be honest, I really haven't done a lot of audio processing with the Triple Wave Shaper, so this review uh, kind of gave me an excuse to try that. Here's a drum loop from my band, no processing. And this is the first wave shaper. Second. And third. I really like this patch with this drum loop. So we're going to output two, from output one into control voltage one. And the result. And for an even more exaggerated version, all three wave shapers.
This patch is a really good example of the musicality of the Surge Triple Wave Shaper. This patch is super simple. It's an oscillator into a wave shaper, into a low pass filter, into a VCA controlled by an envelope generator. Here's the sound without any wave shaping. Now listen to the sound without any control voltage modulation into the wave shaper. And to me, that's really where the musicality comes in. It's, it makes it such an interesting, almost pulse width kind of sound just by manipulating the wave shape. I'm gonna quickly go over how to make this patch by showing you the signal flow. Using a multiple, patch the sequencer's quantized output to the one volt per octave input of the oscillator and the filter. Using another multiple, patch the unquantized output of the sequencer into CV2 of the first wave shaper and the FM input of your filter. Then take the clock output of the sequencer and go into your envelope generator. And that's really just in case you want to shorten it up or something. With your final multiple, plug the oscillator's sine wave into the wave shaper and an input in your filter with an attenuator. The reason I patched the sine wave directly into the filter is because it's the sub oscillator for the patch. And just add the bottom to taste. Back to the triple wave shaper, patch all three wave shapers in series, one to two and two to three and set all three attenuators to about 40%. Then patch the output into the filter. From the filter, the sound goes to a VCA, and that's controlled by an envelope generator. Here's a variation on the patch. Our sequencer is using the first eight steps for notes and the second eight steps for control voltages. Those voltages are modifying the filter and modifying the wave shape. So by moving the slider, we're not only changing the filter, we're changing the wave shape. What's nice about the triple wave shaper is that when all three inputs are patched in series, you have access to all six control voltage inputs. Each one having its own flavor or tonal variation. And back to the original I picked for the patch. To finish up, I'm going to play with the attenuators and see what variations I can come up with. Oh, my God.
Very quickly to finish up, I found a video on YouTube of Todd Barton using his triple wave shaper to make a bird patch using his surge modular. I'm going to put a link in the description. He shows you how to make it. But my test was, can I make that same patch on the Synthetic Sound Labs triple wave shaper? The only variation I did is instead of using LFOs to modulate the control voltages, I'm using a random gate to fire envelopes to make those chirping sounds. If you already own a triple wave shaper, please leave suggestions and tips in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and letting me show you the ins and outs of the Synthetic Sound Labs Model 1050 Surge Triple Wave Shaper.